Hey everyone, let's continue on with City Center by Lego City. This is set number 60380, contains 2010 bricks, and the set was provided to me by the Lego Group for early review. So now we're going to be continuing on with the build with Manual 2. So I decided to break everything down into manuals, and this is what we did in the last installment. And so far, I'm pretty pleased with the build. Everything's easy to follow, it's kept my interest, so yeah. And I need to slide this out of the way because now we are going to be doing, I think bags five or six through nine in here. And it just jumps right on into the build if I can get the page up. Okay, so bag six. And it's asking me for more bulk pieces. Let's pull those out. And yeah, let's get building. Let's build it. <laughs> let's set that off over there. I need to pour out bag six. And yeah, I think it's just easier to keep it manual with this one. So if you're following along with your build and you're stuck on a certain portion, you can always index it down to the bag numbers so that's how i do it makes it easy for you and i both all right okay problem is i don't have a lot of space over here to work with so let's uh kind of everything situated here and this is only going to get larger i think it goes right about here as well so don't ask me how i'm going to do this yet may have to be part of this off the counter you know i don't know let's see here. so in the last installment i was pretty happy with the build trying not to yawn in your ear Just as I was right before I was getting ready to start this, I had two more packages arrive, but they were small ones. So, yes, it's Lego related. No hauls, it's just more uh, sets to review. And like I said, I, I have my work cut out for me. What color is that? Dark orange? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a little t uh, quiet. I'm just a little tired today. And Well, this is actually a few hours later from the first installment, so. dark brown okay hmm, that didn't want want to go down and I'm hoping by probably tomorrow night I should have the whole thing built and reviewed so I'm hoping within today I can get done with three installments. Well, by the time you're watching this, usually I try to release all these in the same day. Just depends on how fast I, uh, I edit and stuff. Yeah, nothing exciting. <laughs> Just trying to, trying to stay cool and, yep. So we got some stud flowers that go in here. 
You know, do I ever get tired of doing Lego in general? Not really. It's good. It's a good little doodle tool. You can doodle around with it and stuff. I don't know what we're building here, so from what I can tell, it looks. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know. Oh, let's see here. I'm having a hard time trying to find a one by two. Move that out of my way. I don't want to hit my head on that. There we go. A round plate. We got two corner plates. Ready? We're just working in this one area the whole time, huh? All right, we have the um, brick with one stud. Make sure the studs facing this way. Sometimes they're hard to get straight, especially when the bricks are round. Okay. And well, we got ourselves a chair here, like an office chair. And then we use this for a tabletop. Okay, what on earth are we building here, huh? Instead of stack two of these together, I'm gonna stack them both on here like this. It's just faster this way. Maybe not. I just have to rotate them until you get them to lock in place. And Yeah, one thing, if I had the digital guide, I can just have the tablet sitting up and it would be easier to go through it that way instead of doing it like this. Trying to think of any interesting things to talk about, but nothing that's not going to put anybody to sleep. Yeah, you may notice some skipping in the videos because I've been having allergy attacks, so I'll have to pause out all the and edit out all the sneezing. I don't want to, so I may start sounding a little congested. It's the allergies, my goodness, they've just been hardcore. So, I think that goes off by one, just hangs over here. So I'm not sure what this is yet. Kind of like to like to guess and see what it is, but I'm not sure. I really don't see uh, anything special going on here, except we got a flat tile way here at the top, so this must be the height of it, possibly. And well, I'm going to be putting a sticker on this. Let's see, where's the sticker sheet at? Sticker number 13 and 12. 12 and 13 on the same thing. Well, yeah. And these are critical. Well, this would be a big hint on what this is. Well, we see the scissors. So now we know what it's going to be. <laughs> and sticker 13 goes at the bottom. So 
So I think we're going to be blasting through most of the stickers here real quick. There we go. It goes in here like this. Looks like we'll be making a barber shop or some kind of salon. And yeah, speaking of, I got still got to get my mop chopped. Except, uh, you know, just getting lazy at this point. Sometimes it's a chore to go and get a haircut, but I have to get it done eventually, and I gotta find the time to do that. And I... Okay, and, well, we don't need this right now, but we will soon. Here. There's a lot of stuff going on in this building set here. Do three of those corner plates. I only see two of them. There's the door. And then. Yeah, the thing with the big manuals is it's just easier to have a tablet at that point. So really, I don't know. I, we were talking about that in the last installment, though. Would that count as screen time? Not really. Because we're not really focusing on the screen. We're focusing on the build. And here we got a door. I always hate doing these in my building guides, and I'll show you here in a second why I don't like doing doors in my building guides, is because of this. You have to show the door open like that, and you have to close it and put all the accessories on it. So... Of course, you can write up the manual any way you want. Most people can interpret that. All right. The old school Lego from the 60s, probably early 70s, buildings were only four or five bricks tall. Then we moved from five to six. Now we're moving from six to seven. There we go. Now I wonder if we're going to tile in the barber shop. chatty Kathy right now. I gotta wake up. I took a nap though. I got some work done. Well, let me pick that up. Got some work done and took a nap and then that's pretty much what I did. Alrighty. Trying to beat the heat. You know how older people are. They want the house kept so hot. I miss the days I used to crank the AC down to 70. Not anymore. Alright, so looks like now we're building the barber's pole. And yeah. So far the color scheme on this one is not like the other ones. This one's kind of kind of muted a little bit with the orange, uh, dark orange and stuff. Sub step and a sub sub step. <laughs> and this is where your your pieces are right here. Is this everything is so small. And it's just a lot of stud placements. Oh. 
Oh, that's probably the only blue I've seen in this bag here. Remember, there's three white ones, and you got a red one of these. And then getting that in there, it's going to be... Eh, it wasn't too bad. There you go. There's your barber's pole. Oh, we got to put the top on there, the little topper piece. In fact, I haven't seen a barber's pole in so long. Oh, the new places now, they don't even have one. They just have a... It just says barber shop at the top of the thing. And you go in there, it's like a glorified... Uh, Salon when I was a kid, barbershop just had two chairs in there, and there's a there's a husband and wife deal. They were pretty good for their time. Sadly, they retired, and two of the barbers that I knew are passed away. If they actually got themselves a third chair, if I'm even making sense, they started out with two chairs, and and it was not uh, You know, doing the, they just did your basic stuff, not like today, but they were reasonably priced, they were good at what they did, but there was this one lady in there, that all the guys would go to, because she did a really good job, the two dudes, like her husband and, and her partner, they were just not that good at cutting hair, <laughs> so they'd all wait for her to, uh, do that and sometimes you'd be waiting an hour just for this you know to cut your hair but you know when you're that good when people avoid to go to your chair that should tell you something but that's what we did but she'd take her time and she'd work with you that's probably why You can still find good barbers like that. They're just, they're very hard to find these days. Um, and sometimes I scour Instagram, you know, find some good barbers who show off their portfolios. It's like, oh, cool, their prices are really reasonable. It's just they don't live in the same city as you do. So it doesn't make it too easy to find one. And... When I was like a preteen, went to this military barber shop, and my goodness, <laughs> you ask for a fay to give you high and tight. <laughs> like, well, there's a difference there. And oh, there's supposed to be lights attached to those. Okay, well, I went too fast. Yeah, let me pop that out. Boy, this whole thing's going to come apart, isn't it? Just to put that in there, I made a mistake, and yeah, I'm paying the price for it now. Well, let me just rip that out and put the light in there. But yeah, that's pretty much what it was. And when I was a teenager, I went to this one barber shop. These guys were pretty good. I think they were brothers running the place, or father and son. And they were pretty good, but they were they were slow at what they did. But then again, you always came out with an amazing cut, and they always worked with you. So it's like there's always a trade-off. That's when I've learned you don't go cheap. <laughs> you stay out of those places that will butcher your hair. All right, this all has to line up now. Well, I thought it did. And there we go. Now we're strengthening it up. So you got to put these plates on here at the very top to strengthen it up a little bit. And, yeah. Now we turn it around and we got to work on the inside. Yeah, but sometimes though, getting an old haircut, that's like a chore. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't want to go.
But then when I get home, I feel a lot better. I don't have a mop on my head, and it's getting too hot to carry all this hair around. So I need to really think about it here. I don't know if I want to change it up or keep the old, keep it short like I normally do. Although I've had some guys, or buddies, tell me, "Oh, you need to grow it out." Yeah, I don't know. Now we got to put the ivy on the sides. At least it adds some greenery to it. Okay. And that's how it's supposed to be. So it kind of hides that green piece there. And I think this thing goes in next. And no, that does not go in there next. So I need to... So this one here is kind of a slow build here. It's pretty slow. So don't expect this one to be like the other ones. It was a lot of pieces. And there's only four bags that I'm going to have to do here. I don't know how bad the rest of them are. When I opened this one up, it was just a lot of stuff that just kind of poured out. So here's the wigs that you can try on. And it just sits like that. So it's going to be roly roly on that thing. Okay, and it sits right here. So we were talking about pieces being fixed. That is something that's going to fall off and possibly get lost. And that's how my hair looks now, just not that blonde. And we got to put a sticker on that, but I'm not going to put the piece on the front because I got to fight to get that on there. And we need sticker number 17. Now, foil stickers I usually keep on bricks like this because they work good for dressers. If you ever see me build a, a dresser, you know exactly I use the foil stickers. There's places you can get them like hobby shops and stuff. I know, I think Janet one time was like, Jay, you actually use a sticker on Lego bricks. Yeah, uh, foil Doing You can't really find any kind of chrome lego anymore and this is being a little bit of a turd right now I'm trying to get it on at least somewhat straight where there's no air bubbles but that's impossible but there you go and yeah it's probably the only exception i would say these would be useful for so that probably would just be kept on there i got millions of these types of pieces there we go put it right there and yeah I still think my barbershop tutorial thing was a little better than this thing <laughs> and especially when it's cramped inside and you think that this would have been on here first we would have dropped it down as an assembly. Yeah, if you got big hands, you know, this is not too friendly for you. Yeah, the other one we were breezing through. I don't know how much time I've spent on this one, but this one's going slow. Um... And then we got the hairbrush here. Now well, this one here is kind of skimpy for it being a a barber shop here. I mean, it just kind of feels kind of well. I'm gonna say it cheap. <laughs> it just kind of no barber's chair. It just feels kind of uh, kind of like aftermarket wise. And we've got the notch, and the notch faces out this way. I kid you not. That's how it's facing. And now we got to flat tile the whole thing off up here. Yeah, but back to that story I talked about earlier about the river being flooded and it's starting to happen. Where I'm at, it's safe, but there are uh, the farmers and everybody are complaining about it. They're complaining about that lake that's 
appearing and they're all kind of like, ah, you know, and I'm like, well, I'd be glad we got water around here now. But all they want to do is complain about it. I'm like, you want it dry, but then you want to hog up all the water for yourself. All right, we got to rotate it around. And pretty much that's what it is. done with this bag here okay and yeah we're getting there and we got to do that now if this thing is going to be attached to here well I'm going to be in deep doo-doo because my table is very limited on size here it means I'll probably work in such a little tight corner and yes it goes right here so, <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be fun to, to build now at this point. i got to think of something here. So it's going to be hard to move. Like I said, I've outgrown this table. Normally, I don't do sets this big. I forgot to put together the minifigure. So let's put him together real quick. So there he is. It's even got the, it's even got the classic pompadour. And if you're a dude that's ever had your hair into a pompadour before, you know how much time it takes to get that volume in that hair. I always kept the side shave because it was easier to deal with. And that's it for him, for the figure. Now we're gonna have to attach it to this thing, and. That's what we have remaining for bag six. And how do we attach this? Uh, yes, I'm going to have to waste a lot of space here. And this goes right here. You can barely see it, but it attaches right here where the sidewalk's at, the colorful sidewalk. And that's it. I don't know what goes here. It's probably the next thing we're going to be working on. But um, if it was like this, as you can see, I have plenty of space to work here. Well, I don't want to reach over this, so that's it. So I have just this little area here to work in now. Okay, so we're going to move on to bag seven, and as you can tell, the sticker sheet has really been going down, even this one. So they don't have a whole lot of stickers left. And now the build is going to get kind of cramped here. If I had a place to put this, I would. I could take the turntable and just kind of move it, but things like that could happen and it could fall apart. All right, so we got to get more out of the bulk bin which is this. Okay. And yeah, let's get going here. The so bag seven doesn't look too bad. In the last set, in the last bag we did, it was like 30 minutes, so it was very slow. Uh, I'm trying to get these done lickety split, but well, it's proven to be a challenge right now. Well, gee, why do you want to rush through it? Well, I got a bunch of sets to do. I got more stuff that came in, and I hadn't even opened up the boxes to see what they were. Matter of fact, I posted some stuff on Instagram, and I could post a tutorial or something like that on there, and I forgot to hit the record on the phone, so... Now you're going to hear me talk on more clear. I almost forgot that. Could have been worse, it could have been the video. But I've been posting some stuff on Instagram, and it seems like uh, yeah, my Instagram at one time was really pop, and now it's kind of dead. I haven't 
I was without a smart device for quite some time back in the day, and it kind of just lost followers. And now, it's like, how do these guys get so many likes and stuff on their stuff, but they don't get any comments? Sometimes they'll buy likes. I don't think that's how Instagram works. I'll post something on there, only get about 20, 20 hits, and that's it. I've done TikTok and get more hits on TikTok, but I don't, I don't know. I like watching videos on that, but I don't like making them on TikTok. But I may do it one day. I think it's you get a dollar for every million views or so on that. So you'd have to constantly work on that one. Where YouTube, I consider it more of as an as an archive, but. I don't know what this is yet. Well, it's got a chain. I'm not sure what the chain is for there, but could be a roof or a balcony or something. But no, it goes here, and it's got the road thing. So maybe it's some kind of a fence. All right. Doesn't tell me where it goes. So now it, I'm work. I, I had all this table. Now it's going to be mostly storing this, and that's the footprint. In fact, let me make sure. No, it's going to get bigger. So I'm going to be working in this. I'm only going to be working on one third of the table, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of uh, space to get the camera over here. So there we go. It's this is going to be very tight for the remainder of the build. Like I said, I usually do smaller builds. I don't ever really work on the large stuff like this. This set's mostly vertical, but it's got a big base. I'm not sure of the stud count, though. I'm not going to measure it or anything like that. We know that it's this wide, so it's never going to get any wider. And here we are looking for small pieces, but it's all small pieces at this point. So if you get like, oh, these bags are not too bad. It's all full of small stuff. That's... That'll get you. All the small bags will, will get you here. And yeah, this is a. This set's got a lot of detail. I don't think this is going to be like a like modular quality, but as you can tell, it's open back. And okay, what piece is going here? The little hand piece. So, yeah, you saw we did some medium-sized pieces. Now we're doing little parts that I have to find. So now i got to find... They'll stick with a 3.2 hole, and i got to make two of these. And stick them in like that. With this blue, and we're working on this, is probably water. So I don't, now I'm just going to forewarn you, I don't think this is going to be a fast, fast build by any means whatsoever, as you can see. <laughs> kind of, the first, the first portion was pretty quick, and then the second portion we're just crawling now, because it's all little parts. So you got to get you warmed up, and it's like, okay, here you go, now it's going to get slow. And that's why I said I'm kind of not too th thrilled with Lego, kind of. And I read their thing. Oh, we tried to send this stuff within two weeks. Now, you got to plan ahead. How long is it going to take the average person to build this? And now, I'm sure somebody out there has got staff that does this for them, or they all work together. If something like this is broken down the way it is, you can probably get about five members to build the set in an hour, and you'd be done. But for someone like myself who works solo, 
you know, doing these type of builds, it can take some time, you know, especially if you have a full day job. And I've seen a lot of the ambassadors will read up on, you know, that this is their job. And I just kind of shake my head going, my goodness, nobody does it as a hobby. I should just post it. A thing on there. How many of you guys do this as a hobby versus a job? I'll probably get a lot of, oh, I do it as a job. It's easy. Yeah, it's not easy when you're on a deadline. It's not. You know, at least I get a source of parts. <laughs> but still, imagine I got to do all the paperwork on these. I just got done with paperwork a couple of days ago on the stuff that they have been sending me. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, imagine if I have about 30 sets coming in here. It's going to be not too fun. And this goes here. You may not be able to see too much right now. But I'm working on this thing here. Okay, I'm going to use this as a base for a bench. I saw that and I thought, what kind of car are we going to be building here? And I just saw we have a minifigure. I've been neglecting the minifigures. I know somebody's going to kind of get angry with me over that, but I really don't care if I miss on them or not. Let's do that real quick because you may complain about it. Oh. All right. So we got a Harry Potter wand. Doesn't look like she's hard to put together. No skirts or anything weird. Let's do the bench until I see more of the parts come up. Yeah. So if I'm not ranting too much, I think it's okay. I know a few of you guys like hearing the rants. Let me just kind of vent out my frustrations for the week on here. On my main channel, it's different. Oh, don't complain too much. They'll get mad. <laughs> I always tell people, hey, there's going to be a rant coming up. And, you know, be careful. I found the Harry Potter wand. I only need one of them. And the other part can get discarded. I always just pop them off. Some people throw the extra pieces away. I don't. I hang on to everything. You never know. All right, and then it's just a... Wouldn't you use some friction forks on this instead of these, where it hinges? I mean, no, it's got a little friction to it, but still. And this one sits right in the middle here. I think the back just leans right up against here. This is supposed to look like a little dock. We got the little ropes, or the chains. And then we're not done yet. I gotta get this piece now. Oh, I see her head. We're gonna look, make it look like she's singing here. Because she's got a violin and it's a new piece. I don't know if it's new. It's new to me. Okay, and she uses this here. I don't know which hand she she's grabbing here, but there's the wand, and then the violin I can't find. Well, there it is. So you get the little violin, too. She's going to serenade us or something like that. And then there you go. I'm just trying to rotate the hands. Something like that right there. There we go. At least got her put together. Okay. Now we've got to get the 8 byte plate. And I bet that goes here. We don't know yet. Kind of wish I had two tables like this and I can just swap them out. Now the other counter I have is about a good... 10, 12 feet long. <laughs> it's 12, it's 10, 12 feet long, about two foot back. 
or maybe about this deep. I don't know. It's about it's it's maybe a little deeper than a kitchen counter. All right, do we need another radiator grill? No, we don't. We need that thing for another lamp post. And okay, it goes the other way. Yeah, this thing's broken down into modular form. I think what I'm going to do before this gets too out of out of control here, I'm probably going to put this on the turntable before it starts gaining a lot of weight. It'd be easier that way. And yeah, and as you can tell, I'm uh, this has just got so many small parts, and I'm kind of just. Uh, I mean, it's starting to get there where it's getting a little irritating because I'm mining more small parts than these. But you notice the buildings went pretty quick. The base went pretty quick. And then now it's just all of a sudden, it's like, bam, let's slow it down a little bit. We got all those leaf pieces we got to put on too. So I think I, I'm trying to keep these very short. Now I'm glad I didn't uh, break it down like the way I wanted to. I'm glad now I'm doing it in manual form because, yeah, there we go. And then there's that. And it shows that complete. What goes on here. So yeah, I'm going to, let me see if I can find the turntable piece here before we really get into it I'm gonna slide this in here how do you do it well I'm gonna have to probably move the camera out of the way so you're gonna have to get seasick and somebody will probably complain about it but I'm gonna have to slide this on here how do you do that just do it like that and lift it up and kind of Roll it in there, and hopefully nothing binds, which probably will. There we go. There. Creepy bugs all over that. All right, now we can get back to where we were. And this piece is kind of warped. All right. Well, I don't have any more space. It's <laughs> not going to help out much, but now... I could put the put it on the turntable. We can just build it on that. But now I can pick this up and move it. And yeah, the other day they sprayed the house, and it's just been a lot of creepy crawlies coming out of the woodwork. And I'm like, you're gonna have to spray this more. You can tell, like my nephew, don't keep food in your room because those little bugs can find it real quick. Oh, kids are sometimes, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah, it does. I don't want to have them all in my house. Okay. And then this... Um, See this arrow right here? I gotta do that in mine, because that's the only way. And then this goes on here. And yeah. Oh, we're building a tree next. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be a lot of work. I'm going to have to slide all this back. Here, let me just set these over here because this is going to be a lot here. So, yeah, when you're building this, guys and gals, here's the deal. You get this set, make sure you have a big flat area to work in, and I'm talking large. 
because you're probably going to need to have a lot of room here. And I like these little pieces for making trees. I have to get some more of these. And brown. I don't, everybody keeps telling me that Lego has fi since fixed the issue. Well, you know that old saying, first impressions. Well, that's pretty much how it is with this. It's like first impressions. This color has been brittle. I think that goes right on there. Yeah. And let's go ahead and shove it on here now. There we go. And... putting together a lot of stuff this so bags one through five were pretty pretty lightweight compared to bag six and seven it's mostly just small parts very small parts and then now we're getting you know hopefully it'll start going pretty quick hopefully the bulk of the build is here and there's there's 18 bags. So when we get up, we can get done with this manual here. We'll technically be halfway done. And okay, it shows it on the base. And oh, okay. Boy, this tree's kind of puny, and you'll see what I mean here when we get done with this. You see my trees are kind of basic because I show you how to put them together and they look really good. But this one here, the trunk looks really good and you know, you'll see, you'll get the joke here in a moment. So we got a couple of birds on here and a little bird's nest. <laughs> That's kind of cute, but is that a bird or we have an egg in there? I think they mean one of these. I don't see any other type of part. I think the bird would have been a slightly different color or something, but there it is. And then once you get that in there, it goes on top of the tree. Now you think now that we're going to be adding a lot of branches. Well, this is what remains here. So we're not going to be putting in a whole bunch of stuff on this. Matter of fact, wants me to build two duplicates of a branch. Boy, that's really bent. That's kind of sloppy. And then now we got to start leafing things up. And let's see here. Yeah, this is going to be a very long, lengthy build. And. Uh, and then we. Uh, they don't show it in the manual, but you got to flip these over and stick these in here. Almost similar to how I made my spruce trees in a way. Except I used the parabolic rings here. They're using just these things here, which is kind of what I was thinking of when I saw those in there. And yes, these clips are brown, so I got to be careful. And these go on the sides like this. I don't know how critical it is. So I think that this is going to be one of the most... Well, do I dare say it? Uh, not so appealing trees I've ever built. almost said the S word. But... And then these are the next ones here. Now I'm sure you can get sloppy or... You can get a couple more of these and make it any way you want, but I 
Because when I do my campground, I usually use black clips to hold the leaves on. Because they didn't have reddish brown back then. I would still be very wary on these and uh, flip those over. And, and it looks like we put those right in the center hole like the last ones. Okay, and then these actually hang downwards. Yeah, I'd have to say that this tree here is not, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have two extra leaf pieces. Which doesn't bother me. Making sure I got two on each branch. I'm sure you can put the other two on there. And they show that this thing here kind of joins these up. So I don't know what that's for, unless it's meant to be like some kind of planter or something. But I don't know. I just. That's probably how it's supposed to be there. And all oh, the trees backwards. I gotta take that off and turn it around now. Yeah. Alright, let's see now. It's facing the right way, and then we have a planter, so that's where the last pieces go. I'm kind of just little well, at least it's not big stuff from here on out. Everything's on, a, on smaller plates. Oh, where have we seen this planter before? We did one of these similar over there on the noodle thing. And then this one here goes right here. On this side right here. I'm trying not to knock stuff off. And I believe that's it. And that's what we have remaining for bag seven, just three pieces. Not too terribly bad. And I'm going to have to install this. And it goes like right here. And see, I can just slide the whole assembly over now and not have to make a mess. All right. And this just fits in here. And you're just going to have to press all these down. That's what it is. So we got this nasty clay soil right here and all that stuff. So if you get this set and you want to move it around, put it on something flat like this. Like even if you have an old cutting board or something, that's pretty much how you do it. Let's welcome bag eight. And yeah, we are now halfway through the building guide. <laughs> And let's do the mini food before I forget. So as you can see now, I'm kind of working in some small area. This one here doesn't look too terribly bad. It looks like it's mostly just medium pieces. So I think we were just doing all the ex accessory stuff. It looks like now we're doing the doctor. Got to find the wig. So as you can tell, you open up the bag, the first thing you're greeted with is the minifigure, and it just takes forever. And you look at the manual, he's got gray hair. First I thought that was black. But there he is, he's all done. So now we could throw him over there and worry about the next. Okay. And then you get something out of the bulk bin. I need one. So now, the footprint of this build is done. That's how big it is over here. And now we're just starting adding second floors and stuff. This is going to be very tall. And when I do the review on this, I'm going to have to break it down to where it's... I'm going to do the mini figures. I do the 360 spin, but sorry, folks. I'm not going to spend all day talking about minifigures. And two, um, I'm going to do a close-up of the interior, and then I'll do an exterior shot that's 
you know, just set it on the table and do a 360 spin. But I think what I'm going to do is I may try doing 4K on this when I do the review. And we'll see how well it goes. i got to see if the, the memory cards in that are cleared off. Okay. And... Yeah, so, so, so far, as long as you got the base of this done, it is completely family-friendly. It's a family-friendly build, and I'm going to call them like that now, family-friendly builds. Because now you can build and have several people build along with you at the same time. So this is family-friendly up to this point. So you can do that. And I'd like to see Lego do that more with these type of sets. Just knowing that it makes it easier to build these, but it also makes it a little, you know, uh, I forgot to put a piece here. It just makes it more easier to build. <laughs> I'm not even, I, sometimes I'm not even making sense half the time, but it just, it's broken down in such a way that you can, you can even stop and take a breather here and there. And the humidity's been driven up a bit today. Um, my air flips on. I can just see the... There's a tube on the side of the house that's been just pouring out water. I need to run that to my flower beds to water the flowers while it's pouring out. You know, it's moving out the humidity off the... off the fins, off the AC unit. I had one, I had a hose, like an old garden hose set up there, and it would just drip the water down, and I would put it next to a flower, or one of my flowers in my flower bed, and boy, it would just, by the end of the week, that thing was really green, <laughs> with just the humidity. A lot of the houses I know back east and eastern part of the country, like maybe like Florida and all them, and Texas, they don't. Some of them have dehumidifiers. I guess most don't. I'm lucky to have one out here. When it gets humid, I can take a little bit of the wetness out of the air and make it more drier. I don't want to make it too dry because then you'll walk around and you touch everything and you'll get zapped. This is the static electricity. <laughs> Either way, you're going to lose. All right, and then we make two window frames. I'm just going to, let's just put all the glass in them first. Yeah, there was some scuffed up parts in here, and I, I'm i kind of getting to be like everybody else with Lego. Um, you know, you're paying this much money for a set. I shouldn't see scratches on this glass, you know. I mean, come on now. If, if I manhandle it and put a scratch in there myself, that's on me, but... To, to do that. But I don't remember these ever being hard to get in. These little glass panes. At least it's got glass in it. I can't complain there. Sometimes I'll get a set and they don't put any glass at all in these things and you're just kind of like, you know. And I don't use black that much. I mean, it reminds me more of an, old, an older office building. There we go. And this goes right in here. So this is going to be, I think, the doctor's office. It's got to have a lot of light and a lot of natural light. It's like going into my dentist office because uh, I got a tooth cleaning I got to go to in about a week or two. And no windows back there. It's dark and gloomy like a cave. One time I was back there and they lost power for like five minutes. And it was pitch black. You only saw the exit sign light up. 
and I was like, man, you guys need to get more windows because it actually brings more natural light in, but you know how that is sometimes. Uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want... Patients don't want people seeing them. We we'll, don't need to have the windows low. Just have them up where there's natural light coming in unless you have a power failure. They don't even have to open. Got this place. It has lots of windows. I, I like lots of windows in my house. I want to be able to see out. Clean windows doesn't take a whole lot of time. I'm not doing it every day, so it's not a big deal. My friend, she doesn't even like having windows in her house. It's like, up to me. I'd rip those things out and have it all walls. And I'm like, oh, not me. <laughs> I like to crack open a window and hear the birds and have some nat natural daylight is really good for building with Lego, too. Hold on. Um... I think I'm messing up here. There's profile bricks here. We're on the fourth level. Now we're on the fifth level. Hold on. Yeah, I think I misspoke on this one here. So I'm making mistakes now. But yeah, I, I just don't understand. You know, a lot of people don't like the natural lighting and in the how in their house well, I don't want to clean all that windows I'm like you don't have to clean them every day yeah but the kids touch them and they get fingerprints on them I think it's a piece of glass you can just wipe it off you know I don't like doing windows either but I like having that natural light coming into the house my parents were like that too they they don't they don't like a lot of windows in their homes and I want to be able to just, you know, open up all the windows and just have a natural breeze blowing through. And, yeah, cleaning the glass is a pain, but then again. I don't have kids running around touching my windows or anything like that. But then again, <laughs> just how it is. This thing is kind of flimsy right now. All right. So we're doing the same thing we did over there, I think, on the barber shop. It's just, it is what it is. And all right, so we wrap around like this, and there's a one by one that goes there. And then. We just got done with that step. Yeah, if you're not careful, you're going to lose your space, your your step in here real quick. This is not... I don't think this even had an age range on it. I'm sure it's probably 18 and up. Maybe 16. And that's it for that. We're getting close, don't worry. So yeah, the first couple of bags are pretty fast. And now we're kind of moving slow here. Got ourselves a little light. Set that right there. Yeah, this is about as close to a Lego City Expert we're ever going to get, but it's better than nothing. i really like to see Lego pull one off like that. But then again, wouldn't Lego Creator Experts classify that since uh, most of them are modular buildings? You know, I mean... There we go. And let's see here. We least have some brick here. Was that well? Step one seventy nine was just one piece. I expect it to be long. No, that was little. 
All right, little step, just really small, just quick. Get that done now. Not a whole lot left to do here. front of that okay so now we have to put the leaf pieces in here on the front of the winds the window sill so I could have used these in the campground well I have a bunch of them but I never use them all <laughs> so until you won't be able to open up the windows in here that's just about as far as you can open them up so that's pretty much that's it I gotta think of what I wanna fix for a dinner tonight. Probably something light. Of course, everybody wants to go out, and I'm like, yeah, I already had enough of that. Of course, it's only Wednesday, too. Usually, that's what I do. I remember my studio apartment only had two small little windows. <laughs> it was kind of dark in there. It was an older building, too. And I remember that place. And when I got a house, I was, like, surprised that, man, there's actually a lot of natural light coming in there. I wasn't used to it. I've spent more time on this section, on this piece, than I did on the bigger stuff. We have two leaf pieces left over. Oh, you know why? Because these right here go on the top like that. Okay. And just like little ivy here. I think we would have put these in a little, a little differently here than we did the last one. There we go. And that's it. So that's what we have remaining for bag eight. And that's essentially what it is. So we didn't even finish it. So bag nine is probably going to be the continuation of this build. It doesn't sound like there's a lot in there, but that's what worries me. Let's see here. Yep, it's mostly small stuff in there. A couple of big pieces, though, but mostly mostly small. All right, let's put that back here so you can see what I'm doing. And, yeah, so bag night, I don't even have a minifigure. It just jumps right on into a one-by-four plate. Hey, that's fine by me. That's less minifigures I have to tinker with. So a set like this, if you weren't bothered, you could probably get it built in a day if you're doing the review. You know. If you're doing these solo, which that's what I'm doing. I'm a solo builder. Kind of wish I can get my friend, even my family, to get into this. Get into this hobby. I guess they don't like the fact that it's all small pieces. But that's the whole goal. Well, how can you stand doing Lego? It looks like it's just nothing but small parts. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. You don't expect it to be large stuff, do you? And there's a window right here. I'm having a hard time trying to find the glass pieces. I'm going to bring these over here. I don't see the other big one. Oh, yeah, I see it now. And see, this is scratched. 
and I will let that be known when I do the review too. Now, if you're watching this and you know who you are and you're expecting nothing but 100% positive reviews, well, you drop the money down onto this and get it all coming and scratched and stuff and you tell me how you feel. <laughs> See, I can't even talk to anybody about the banged up parts until the date has been lifted. And, you know, hey, it's, if this is the way I get it sent to me, that's how it is. I just go with it. All right. Well, Jay, you're just being picky. You don't... You know, it's a kid's toy. It's not supposed to be perfect. Yeah, but still, for the price that these things are, you don't want it to be all scratched up. But I'll tell you one thing. I like these little 3x3. Three three. This is a 1x3x3 three three angular corner plate. These are pretty cool. Alright. And then... We are still working on a sub-step, too. I, I, this is a big, long sub-step. Of course, I can't complain because my builds have a lot of sub-steps. Yeah, I was... Uh, trying to get some stuff done and I have a friend of mine that's been asking me, Jay, what Lego sets did they send you? You need to tell me. Can you just share the information? I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Lego isn't going to know. And I'm like, yeah, it just takes, just takes you to take a picture and then tell your buddies. And no, I'm not going to do that. And Sometimes that can put a strain on a friendship just over that. So... If you are... Oh, no! They're going to make me put a sticker on that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to have to do it. Well, that will get ripped off when I'm done. Because I'll need that. Those make great tabletops for, like, patios. And let me strengthen up this before I put the sticker on it here. Putting round stickers on tiles is really not that easy to do. I'm trying to get them lined up, unless it's just something that doesn't really matter. But the stickers are not too bad, but it just depends on how easy it is to put them on. Like now, it's got a paw. So this is obviously a veterinarian hospital. Obviously, the paw's going to go like that, and it's easier to do it on something big like this. There we go. Well, I got it on there kind of crooked. Can I get that off and do it? Nope. Can't get that off. <laughs> I thought I had it on there right. You can see it's crooked. You know, and that's one of the things that I always ding off on when I do the reviews. If I have to fight to get the stickers on, whoops, I put it on wrong, I can't rotate it. So the score goes down. Like, when I started off, it was a 10. It was a 10 with some of the stickers. Now it's at a flat 9. I just get hard on the grading. I don't, if I have to, if I have to rip things off and have to do it just because a sticker's on wrong, that is it. That will get you. So be careful with that. And somebody may complain about it on the review. You got it on there crooked. Well, that's how it is. It doesn't matter. That, that shit's going to get ripped off when I'm done anyways. And this goes here. And it gets attached to the turntable. So I think it's just supposed to go like that. Well, how does that even go on there? Um... 
So, looking at this corner here, that's how it's supposed to be. Let's take a look at the bottom. So, yeah, not a lot of play there. So, let's take a look at it so you can see it for your reference. In case you get stuck on that like I did, just be careful with that Mino sticker. And then now, um, I'll use this for a parrot perch. Okay, not too bad. How's the parrot go on that? Oh, with the holder. So you stick the holder on there like this, and then you have to shove this through the parrots, you know what? Get him to sit on there. It looks like he's got a claw too, so it kind of works out. Or is it a stuffed parrot? I don't know, it could be pretty real. Then we have a little light that we got to build. Yeah, I still get kind of roasted and grilled on making little furniture builds. Just imagine building the stuff and there's no furnishings whatsoever in these. And it would not be fun at all. And... Is that a hollow or a solid stud? I can't tell. This thing's got some nice pieces. I'd like to order some. I'll have to wait till we get to those, but I'll show you here when we get to them. I think this is probably meant to stop that. I don't know what that's for. Okay, so now we have ourselves a golden lab on the table. Both the animals are pretty heavy, so obviously you have to have some muscle to put them up there. And we got ourselves a baby bottle. And all right, looks like we're building the last part of the wall here. All right. Yeah, but putting those stickers on those round tiles are uh, just a pain in the rear. I did have somebody comment on one of my older videos about I cussed in it. You know, so, you know, I'm not saying anything really bad. I just say some bad words and that's it. Oh, I had some, oh, you cussed. I don't think I can watch you anymore. You said a bad word and I'm like, hmm. Sorry, but this ain't romper room. <laughs> hey, as long as I'm not cussing people out and calling names, that's all that matters. Okay, this goes here. So I'm assuming now this is actually going to lock this in here. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. In fact, that's a nice method if you ever want to do that. Just copy that out of your book and then stick something like there. It seams it up. You don't have any of those holes... And in the inside, it's just a little bit of hole in here. A little gap in there, but even I can live with that. So not too terribly bad there. And we're almost done. Almost. We're just about there. We just got to do the top stuff now. And then the veterinarian office will be done. And I will be done for a bit. And I will be ready to kind of relax. Still got a hole here, and of course the pages want to stick together. Yep, I'm trying to. I got things I got to get done here after this. So I'm gonna try to get this. I got one more workload left to do, and that's it. So I think I can probably get this set done here. Probably by Thursday, reviewed, out the door, and done. And then I can go back to doing some smaller sets. I got some sets that came in 
I just got it. Once I get this done, I got to go and box them, put them in my spreadsheet with the due dates, and figure out how I want to do it. How do I want to break the builds down so I can post them up in a timely manner? I usually go off a piece count. I try to do some shorter ones first, so I'll have some fillers, so when I do the big ones, I can release them. Like right now, I'm uploading a file, so. Yeah, for what this is though, it's kind of like a modular, but stripped. Okay, got this nice fancy little arch here going. And this goes right above the window. Well, not yet. We got to put some studs on here too to decorate it up. Hoping you can see what I'm doing. And remember, I was start. I started off right here, and I'm way over here at this corner, and I'm having a hard time getting these studs on. That goes right there, and I believe that's it. And that's it. And this goes on top of the little hair salon barber shop. I'm done with that manual. And here we have these pieces remaining for bag nine. And I may put this on a turntable. That'll probably be my next chore. And we're going to put this. Now let's go ahead and put this on a turntable real quick so I can make more sense out of it here. And yeah, you got to be careful. It depends on what you're working on here. This thing is not squared, and I'll save the turntable for the next installment, but let's see if we can get a better view of what this is. And, oh, I see your power cord, Jay. Yep, you, yes, you do. But there it is, and yeah, so far it's pretty big, so... Um, 8 times 5 is 40. 44... 48. Well, you gotta be careful with those. So it's 48 studs and 16, 32, um, I think 48. Okay. So it's pretty much probably 48 by 48, maybe. Because we have. So I think you know what you could do if you really wanted to just get a 48 by 48 stud base plate and just stick this on there. But there you go. So, so far, my build experience has been pretty good. Stickers are now getting okay. It's starting to degrade the build quality a bit. But, um, you know, build quality is subpar. And what I mean by that is you can't pick this up. So it's not really meant for you to move in a whole piece. So make sure you get yourself a cutting board and you can do it. So that's what you'll need. So until we meet again, guys and gals, and tell me what you think of the build so far. I mean, so far I'm happy with this. It's nothing strenuous or anything. It looks really good, but we're not done yet, but we're halfway done. <laughs>